Hello there. A few years ago, in a demented attempt to make myself a chrome polished or mirror polished lowers on my fork, I removed paint from these lowers from my Sauntered Rolex fork. Unfortunately, I kind of underestimated just how fast these lowers are going to get all messed up because uh, these lowers, just like every other fork on the market, are made out of uh, magnesium aluminium casting. And that is a very reactive metal so I polished them and in a matter of hours it became all grey and matte as to say I later sold the fork and then I got it back and you may have seen it a year ago or so when I made a uh, 20 to 50 millimeter adapter for it now however I want to restore it to the former glory which is well which means that I intend to paint it and in order to do that, I have already, uh, well, prepared my paint here. I intend to put a, a base paint, the two or three layers or even more of base color and some decals in red. The base color is going to be gray because that's the new frame I'm going to get in a few days. So, I think I'm going to start. Uh, this one is going to be a little bit of a time lapse because I tried to paint things before, however, I largely failed because I was too impatient and tried to fix blemishes in the paint by putting my paint. So that usually ended like a disaster. So I intend to put just a little bit of paint in a 15 to 20 millimeter intervals and in the meantime do something else. So a time lapse, and I think, whatever. Here it goes. I have already prepared the lowers. They are cleaned. I have even filed down the uh, bosses for a cable guide because it was already damaged anyway, so it was non-functional. I'm going to start with a little bit of a base paint. And I'm going to open the, the door here so I get some air. After all, I don't want to choke on this too way. Okay. Work. Yep. All right, here goes. shouldn't spray the paint directly to the camera. They are expensive enough to replace. And they just die. Damaging one probably doesn't. Not much good. Alright, this is my first base of paint. First layer of paint. Now I let it dry for a little bit. Yeah. Put some more. I remembered something very crucial. Breathing in paint isn't really healthy. All right, layer two. You know, Banksy can paint something awesome, allegedly, using spray paint, then I possibly should be able to learn to do it as well. After all, people do it more, don't they? So it's not impossible, it just needs special technique. I 
I will polish the the base after I paint everything thoroughly. So anyway, all right, layer number three. Starting with the gray. Is the not so bad? That would be pretty bad. Try a different nozzle, but it might be that the but the paint is pretty poor. No. All right, change of plan. This paint doesn't paint anymore, so I think I'm going to add another layer of base so it hides these spots and try a different color because I think I still have yellow and nothing much else here. It's a shame it would be pretty good color, but I'm using paint I had here for, I don't know, two years now, so... It doesn't seem like they're so expired. dry for a bit and I have a full can of yellow here so does it work? this one actually works so I'm going to have a yellow fork all right so since gray didn't work out let's try with yellow
layer number two. All right, or layer number three. If you are wondering what I've been doing during the break for the paint to dry, as much as I would like to tell you that I was watching it dry because that's exhilarating, I installed the belt sander my workshop and now I am starting the repair of the sport because because the push rod of the air spring got damaged to this year so instead of ordering a new one, like a normal person, I'm doing this. Alright. is complete so good. I mean it's not perfect, it's not a factory paint but it suddenly looks better than the faded out polished material, polished metal. Alright, one more layer and I think I'm going to be done here. Matches? I don't think so. I have an idea. All right, since the hue of my yellow doesn't match the hue of the of the shock I'm gonna use, and I am a massive gear slut, and I like my gear to match. 
What I'm going to do, I'm going to redden this yellow color using a red paint. A slight tint of red in this should make this more orangish or closer to what the shock is. So, here goes. I probably shouldn't be doing this because I'm gonna break something, but... The cloud of, of this red color. And if I overdo, I'm gonna break it. Oh, too much. Thankfully, that's not visible. I don't think I can do any better than this. Please, someone stop me. I can't stop myself. This is the stage where I always break it. Nope, right. nope, 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 nope. Nope, this is enough. I'm not going to get any better than this. So I'm going to stop right here. Alright. Now it's time to... No, I can't stop myself. At least I'm gonna have a pretty nice artistic effect on the fork. And frankly, it doesn't really... It doesn't look all that bad. Statistically, I think I'm closer to my goal than I was before. And the layer of the droplets of the red paint are, is a very uniform, so I think I'm going to leave it at, at here. And now I'm going to leave it to dry out. And it's clear coat in a few days, or a few hours, depending whether I find time to tinker with my bikes. It's actually pretty good. There are a few blemishes here and there, but it's better than my usual result. Yep. So, see you in a few days. So, two days have passed, and I think that the paint here is already dried out, so I can apply a clear coat. I need to take my gloves for it because I don't want to paint my hand. Anywho, I don't have much of the clear coat, so I'm going to be rather economical with application of it. Here it goes. I have to say that I am pleased with the result. There are no blemishes or major blemishes. No droplets of paint going everywhere. And the color is rather solid.
there is a little bit of the orange peel effect on it, which is a blemish on a on painting. It often happens when you're doing your thick layers of spray paint. However, there's nothing too major on this slight effect of droplets of red paint I have over here hides this very well. So, one more layer and I'm done. All I need now are some awesome stickers to show how cool of a fork I have. Alright, the last layer. I'm all, almost out of my clear coat which means I won't be able to do any more anyway. And unfortunately I think the clear coat added some flaking here, which means that once I'm done with it and it dries out, I'll have to polish, take out the excess paint and polish it. No biggie, not, not much of a problem. I mean I can live with it, but I hope I wouldn't be forced to do it because that's just more work. And I hope I'm not adding to the problem right now. Alright. I'm down here. Which means that this beautiful four clovers are going to dry out. I'm going to have my fork in yellow. And obviously I have to do some extra work on it because I don't know whether you can see it because the focus might not work. Oh, there you go. Something like this put up here and here which means that something happened and I'll have to compensate for it anyway once this dry out, dries out I'll polish the, the paint I hope that I'm going to remove this flaking and I'm go going to put everything together All right. A few days have passed, the paint has dried out, including the clear coat. So, how did this came out? Well, quite well actually, considering from my previous attempts at making something look good with a spray paint were rather miserable. And I think that there were, there were two things that decided that this fork actually looks as well as it does. One, I took my time because uh, I allowed each layer of paint I, uh, I have applied to the lowers to dry out partially because I took approximately 20 minutes between each uh, layer and two, I didn't use much paint for each layer even if there were some uh, artifacts from the lower layer uh, mm, shining through uh, the one I actually applied I left it to dry out, uh, hoping that another layer is going to cover this blemish. So, there are four... P so, so, there are four layers of base here, uh, five layers of yellow, five or six, I don't remember, a lot, and two layers of clear. Uh, the slight flaking I've got after uh, painting with the clear coat I managed to scrub off with a steel wool so that's almost as good as a factory paint if you would uh, take a look at closely at the surface of the slowers there is that uh, a little bit of that uh, orange peel effect which happens when you spray paint something and you're too uh, too fast with applying the next layer but it is not really offensive previously I would get something really hardcore if I tried to rush things anyway this is a beautiful 180 millimeter fork and
frankly this concludes my renovation of it because it really needed some love and care from a mechanic. I had to manufacture a new push rod here. I replaced the, the sponges which lubricated the uppers and obviously I painted the lowers because the raw magnesium I left it as because I'm an idiot wasn't really looking very good so now it's time for me to ride it some but uh, the bike I'm going to be using that isn't ready yet anyway it's almost spring here so I look forward to try this out I wonder how long will it last because obviously a fork of this caliber is going to see a lot of um, harshness upon it so we'll see how well that layer is going to hold out considering what I'm going to be using with it what I'm going to be doing with it thank you for your undivided attention and see you in the next one